a chief exec the other day who uh, had been asked how many people work in this organisation. About half of them, he said. Um, so what I'm going to talk about is this people plug hole, where sometimes, maybe, we're not getting the most from our people. Uh, hands up in the room, those of you who come to work every day uh, with 100% of your ability, your creativity, your agility, 100% of everything you could possibly put into your day. I'm glad only Susan is telling on. <laughs> what about uh, 90%? Yeah, 90, 80, in reality, 70, 75, every day. So the problem is, we're, we're owners of businesses, we are directors and businesses, and we bring that, that kind of ability and creativity and energy every day, uh, if we're lucky. Um, what can we possibly expect our employees to be doing? And what could we be doing to improve on that, that percentage? Uh, so that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, sorry. Um, the uh, a recent uh, report was done uh, last year, which did say disturbingly that up to two thirds of the working population of 30 million were actually in some way disengaged with their workplace. Um, and this, uh, on, the, on the back side of that, shows just what you can gain if instead you actually get them more engaged. So a couple of reports were done, one by Gallup, which suggests uh, up to four times more value to the business uh, if you can get people engaged. And the other one, which was done by the Cloud Report for Government, slightly more modestly, suggesting that productivity could be increased by, by up to 40%. Um, well worth doing, coming out of a recession, We've got uh, a bit less slack in the business, let's be, be honest, a lot of us have actually shed people in the last few years. So we do need to make the most of <coughs> our people um, that we have now in the organisation. Four possible scenarios, and it'd be interesting to see actually which, which one of these scenarios you think you might fit into, as far as your uh, staff are concerned. Um, just, uh, whoops, yeah. Okay. So here, down here, lost opportunity, what's that? Where you have organisations that recognise the importance of uh, valuing people and engaging with them, so maybe they've got some policies in place, <coughs> maybe they've got uh, appraisal systems, performance management, ways to communicate with people, but they haven't actually got the message through to their managers. Maybe they've not trained their managers in, in actually engaging with people. Um, and then therefore, there's a lost opportunity going on there. Alternatively, maybe, the organisation hasn't taken too much notice of what it should be doing with its people. Maybe it hasn't actually focused on performance management, engagement, communication systems, but they're lucky enough to have a few managers who know a bit about it, perhaps been somewhere else and seen how it can work. Um, but it's going to be hit and miss. It's going to be inconsistent. I hope none of you are down here. This is where, obviously, the organisation hasn't put any importance to uh, working with their people, trying to get ideas from the staff, getting them motivated, and they haven't encouraged or rewarded managers to do, do the same. So we have a very low level of um, motivation there. And sometimes that actually moves into what I would say is a sort of positive moving away from the organisation. So actually people are pulling away, the cynics in the organisation who can actually pull, pull away from, from change and good ideas in the business. Hopefully, perhaps some of you will recognise yourselves in this quadrant up here, which is where people have actually recognised the need to put in policies and uh, processes to, to help engage with staff, and they've thought to engage with their managers to begin with, they've trained their managers, and things are really moving nicely. So, um, if you can get this right, and particularly if you're up there, then you'll get a competitive edge as well, um, because customer service usually improves once you've got staff who are really switched on to their businesses really committed to the business. I think there are four really important requirements to actually get people engaged. And the uh, first one, of course, is leadership. We need to have a vision, as Martin said, we need to have a strategy. We need to give people a narrative, a reason to get out of bed in the morning and come to work and understand how they contribute to that strategy. And you need to be visible as leaders of your business. You need to be out there visible, talking to people. Second requirement is management. You need to actually pick the right people in your organisation to manage. Not everyone who's technically sound is going to be a right person to manage. And you need to make sure that you put people in place as managers 
that you actually recognise with them what that role really means. It's not just about getting the tasks done, it's about actually getting the best from the team. Nandos, the restaurant chain, uh, they recently saw a direct correlation between falling sales and drops in employee engagement, you know, more sickies, more absenteeism, lots of staff turnover. What they did was to actually give 50% of the manager's bonus based around staff engagement rather than just on people walking through the door. It made a big difference. Not only did their sales go up, but they actually won the, uh, the Large Business to Work For Award in 2010. So very successful. The trouble about managers is that you have this juggling act, the John Adair um, model. Managers have to manage the task, get the productivity, get the sales, get the reports for the board. They also have to manage their team, make sure that people are engaged and working as a team. But they also have to coach individuals, develop them, support them, help them through the rough days as well as the good days. Which of these do you think they don't drop? Which one is the most important for most managers? Task. Because that's the one they're probably going to be being paid bonuses, incentives, the one they'll be beaten over the head with by the board if they don't deliver. And yet, if they don't do this as well, then the, the company will suffer. This won't be achieved in the long term. Um, another requirement, voice. Make sure people have a voice. Make sure you have honest communication, two-way communication. Think of inventive ways that you can actually draw from your people good ideas to improve performance. And integrity. Make sure that you are honest. Make sure that if you have values, you actually work to those values. Make sure that your managers and you display behaviours in the way you do things which actually reflect the values. Don't promise people things that you can't actually fulfil. So, my three tips. The preface leads with some um, uh, killer phrases that I, I hear um, with, with uh, clients. And one of the most popular killer phrases, I actually only heard it yesterday, uh, again, in, yeah, uh, was, uh, why should I praise people for doing their job? Well, you should, actually. People like feedback. People like to know they're doing their job well. People like to be thanked. So my first tip is, go back, find someone who's doing their job, smile at them, and thank them for doing it. Get your managers to do the same for their team as well. It makes a big difference. Uh, second killer phrase is, it's really about, well, I'm under so much pressure myself. Of course we are, aren't we, if we run our own businesses. So ask people. Ask people in your business for advice. And throw out that old suggestion box. You know that the sort of shoe box behind reception that's got old biros and a few sweetie wrappers in that no one's put anything in useful for the last two years? Throw that away and instead start asking people specific questions that relate to your strategy. How do we improve our impact on the environment? How do we get more positive feedback from our customers? How can we save money? Ask some specific questions. And my last tip to you is about making sure that you really are rewarding your managers for the right things. Don't just reward them for the task. See what they're doing as far as the people are concerned as well. Start making sure, for example, that they're doing a appraisal on time. On time, I've done it. Thank you very much. I'd like to know.